Hey YouTube, you want to see the new scape on my 150 gallon discus tank? Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, Brian here again, just coming at you. A couple of weeks ago I uh, tore apart the 150 gallon and rescaped it. Um, didn't really want to do a video until things started um, until plants stopped melting and you know some stuff started growing in a little better and I got some more plants and yada 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 whatever but anyway I thought I thought it was time to show everybody um, th some things are still looking a little bit scraggly and stuff like that but overall I'm pretty happy with it and the direction it's going um, need a few more things uh, obviously um, but let me explain to you kind of how I've set it up here um, Got some Dragonstone again um, from uh, Dave at ADU Aquascaping, Dave Guitarfish. Looks awesome, especially this piece right here. I just love this piece. Um, and uh, so I kind of wanted to do that style of escape, kind of like what I had done on my 90, which right now is pretty overgrown. It needs a trim, but that's another story. Um, one thing I wanted to do was try dwarf hair, hair grass this time. And so I had previously bought some from Fired Up Aquatics, some of this long stuff here, and I never really did anything with it. I just had it down in this shrimp tank down here in, in the back, and I just was letting it grow crazy. So I planted it in here, and as you can see, I mean, it's it's growing crazy, not the way you want dwarf hair grass when you're going for a carpet. But I'm just letting it grow for now, and then I'm going to clip it and replant it. Um, I also went, bought some uh, some smaller clumps of it. And have planted those around in the tank too. Here's another big clump from um, the original batch that I bought months ago. Um, anyone who's versed in growing the dwarf hair grass carpet, let me know if I should be trimming this now or just letting it grow out of control, replanting it, or if I even should replant it, or if I should just take a, a tweezers and pull some of these long pieces and plant them down, and then once they take root, snap them or snip them. Uh, let me know. Um, got some Blixa throughout the tank as you can see. Love that plant. Um, picked up some AR Mini. Um, moved over some S Repens for my 90. Brought over some um, Hydrocotyl SP Japan. What else? Oh, um, pulled out of my grow out tank all the uh, leftover um, Rotala Indica I had. And uh, gonna kind of try to. I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of the Blixa back here and just having the back wall Rotala, but uh, Rotala Indica, but keeping it at about that level, not growing it up real high. One of the main reasons I did this scape too is because I was getting sick of always trimming stem plants. And uh, with the types of plants I've got going here, I won't have to do as much trimming, although I'm kind of having a feeling the dwarf hair grass is gonna require quite a bit of trimming. But I've um, got some um, high grow com compacta here. I'm still looking for some more of that. I've only been able to find two plants um, on one of the forums out there. That's a hard plant to find. Um, so, um, yeah, anyone has a line on some of that stuff, let me know. Some more AR mini over here. I got some uh, Rickia in here that I've got tied down. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of it. The problem I've been having with Rickia moss lately is... It looks real good. You tie it to a rock or something and it grows and then when it starts to grow to a point it always ends up finding its way loose no matter how good I tie it down and uh, and then it floats up and then you've got little pieces all over the place and I'm just not digging that one as much as I thought I might but we'll see who knows. And then oh yeah the uh, Pogo stamen erectus right here. Pogo erectus. Bought a few stems of that. It's it's doing well. I really like that plant. I kind of want to fill in that whole corner with it, and then maybe find one more spot in the tank uh, to put a kind of a, a bush of that too. So uh, the discus are all doing real good. Um, you know, um, I don't know. That's about all I got to say about it. Oh, one piece of. Uh, HC right there tied to a rock. So that's what I got for you guys right now. Um, if, if you know about dwarf hair grass and you've carpeted it with it before, let me know what I should be doing on some of these longer clumps here that are that are getting out of hand. Should I be trimming those now and then replanting them? You know, because they have kind of that little seed where it divides off. 
what should I be doing? Just let me know so I can get the fastest and, 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 and coolest growth as far as the carpeting goes. Make sure you go subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support. I'll put their links below. Go over to Aquatic Support Systems and uh, like their Facebook page. A lot of good stuff going on over there. Big things going to be happening this year. Um, and uh, yeah, check out all the links below and thanks for watching. Later.